In this video, we set up a control expert project for an M580 PLC. This project could easily be used for an M340 as well using an NOC card. We set up in the DTM browser, Alexium 32 drive using generic Modbus Ethernet. You can also use generic Ethernet IP to make it work in this application. I prefer to use the generic DTMs because it makes it much easier to add duplicate drives and it also makes it easier to go from revisions. Uh, I prefer to use SOMU separately to configure the drive and then just configure the application for this. So in this case, to configure the servo drive, we come inside of here and we double click on the actually up top here. To configure this, we come down to the device that we did and you can see we gave it the name Lex32 Modbus TCP IP and we simply asked for 13 words reading and 13 words writing. Depending on what your application is, you could actually look for 13 to 19 uh, for the application. And in this case, we have a uh, function block with a lot of structure text code behind it that should make controlling your servo drive much easier. So on the servo side of things, we've used the uh, Visual Designer to demonstrate. And here's the, the words that possible going out to control the drive. And this is actually 13 words up to this point of data. And this is, uh, it will be 19 if you actually used all the way up to the optional inputs coming here. And on the output going, uh, coming, or actually the input coming back from the drive, you can get all kinds of information like the drive status, the motion status, what the drive input conditions actually are in the drive. Coming back here. Here is just a nice Visio Designer application showing this demo working with the function block. Move this over a little bit. So in this case, you can actually see that the drive is currently enabled because the function block is enabled and I have the enable input pin on. In Visio Designer, if I disable it, the pin comes off, drive is no longer enabled. I'm going to enable the drive. And right now we're going to use the home pin up top. And I have a home type set at 35, which is home immediate. If I refine this function block and look at the home section of code, there is a list of all the different home types you could use with this uh, kind of an index to put in this home type to do for the application. Right now I, I have the distance set to 25. I could make sure something strange, 27, to home it to. And when I do a home, you can actually say I did the home. It made the position 27. Down here, you can see I'm referenced. I'm actually in position and that my scan for the uh, going out to the drive is actually healthy. So if I wanna do an absolute move, right now it's set for a thousand, which matches up to a thousand here at a speed of 100. And if I click this, I should go to 1027. Hit it again, go to 1027 or 1027. And right now the absolute move is set to zero. If I change that to something different, I should go back to two. In so move, I also set up a motion task for motion, like make it whatever you want, but right now I set it up for zero and zero should add 5,000 in a positive direction here. So I'm just doing executing a move in the drive. So it should go to 5,027. And you can actually see I'm moving, I'm at standstill here. And I'm at actually 5002. So now if I come here, right now I'm selecting a jog type, forward reverse. If I put it reverse and hit jog. Now I'm going back at the jog speed configured in so move. And I can see here I'm moving in the negative direction. If I want to go forward, now I'm going in the forward direction. I have my status that I'm going in the forward direction. If I stop motion, I come here, the drive is now at a standstill. In addition, here's my digital inputs going into the servo drive. I can tell what they are. So looking at this function block, when I set this up, this variable, uh, because I did 13 words in, 13 words out, it, I actually made a little table here. Here's the variable that was created when I made that DTM. Here's where I get the health of the transaction going to the drive in the animation table. And because the M580 is a double word 
processor, even though I ask for 13 words, it actually gives me 28 bytes or 14 words because it has to pad it to be an even number of words coming out. So all I need to do is in the inputs line this part of the structure up with the input to my block and the outputs I left it as generic bytes as well. And I didn't mess with it just to make it easy. And so when I do a scan, here's my zero to 27 part of the scan that I created going into the drive. And then it's create get it, getting all the information for the output. And then the control part of it takes the pins that we have here and uses the structured text and puts it out, going out to commands to the drive. I simply line that up with the proper structure of the zero to 27 for the bytes, go into the scan and the application works. If I wanted to replicate this, it's actually pretty simple. I come up here and I want to add another device. And in my case, I did the generic Modbus Ethernet, Modbus device, add. I could give it a name, Lex2. Double click. It had the default IP address for my Lex2. right up here and I come into the request settings and I add a request and I simply move this over a little bit read length 13 write length 13 apply Close this out. If I do a build changes now, actually I have to go offline, disconnect, build. I just build changes to make it quicker. In this application, I'm going to uh, zoom out a little bit. And if I simply wanted to come here, control C, control V, Now I'm going to zoom back in a little bit too much. And if I get rid of this guy here, and I align it with the drive I just created for the second axis inside structure. Here's my Lex32. I want to line that up with my inputs or status coming back, the array of 27. And I do the same thing on the output. Go to where I have the array of 27 here. And then if I just change these to variables that make sense that go with the second axis, you would now be controlling a second axis. So hopefully this video finds you uh, using the application a lot more. It's pretty simple to integrate simple motion into a M580 PLC. I will have the demo apps for uh, Control Expert, the ZEF form, so you can import it moving forward, as well as the function block. Feel free to import it into your project and use it as needed. Uh, is also the, I'll have the Lexium 32 SoMove configuration file as well as the Visio Designer, which is now free with Service Pack 11 to use in demo mode like this. Thank you.